out on the water at last. It's Wednesday already, but this has to be one of the best days for kayaking, at least for elder kayaking. The lake has just a slight breeze. You may be able to see it over here. And yet, everything is smooth and quiet. Very little boat traffic, so let's move on. We're moving south down the lake, or the river, as folks who were born and raised here call it, down toward the southern point of the island on which Watery State Park is located. I'd hoped to see a couple of herons here, great blue herons. They usually complain about now. There's one. Here's a powerboat zipping along out in the middle. I prefer to paddle, however. Where'd that heron go? Way up. Can you see those buzzards circling? Hmm, must be something available. From time to time, we'll see a deer or two come down toward the water to drink. They're not too spooky here, even though it's deer season. Must be they know that state park land is forbidden to the hunters. Here's another spot where I often see great blue herons and other birds looking there for their dinner. Well, it's not dinner time, so they must be out someplace else. There's a great blue heron. Beautiful bird. Lake Wateree is a great place to paddle, if only because the shoreline is so diverse and interesting, if that's the sort of thing you like. Every area has its own unique features. We're coming up on another Great Blue Heron site. Let's see if we can see anybody home. Here, I believe, is the southernmost portion of the island on which the state park is located. Maybe you heard that great blue heron expressing his irritation with my arrival. You certainly are easily offended. Much of the sports island is swampy, which enriches the animal life here. Wouldn't be a real good place to have a farm, but it certainly is a good place to visit. And of course the RV camping area isn't swampy at all. No wet spots there. <laughs> 